Hello, Internet. Welcome back to my corner of the gaming world. My name is Ms. Bitters, and today we're gonna we're gonna explore some stuff. <laughs> back in like 2016, when I started up with like Twitch and all of the gaming stuff that I was doing, I made a couple of gamer friends pretty quickly. One of them goes by Major Pest on some of his platforms here on itch.io. He has himself listed as Ready Major. It was like this ongoing gimmick for a really long time that he would put like Major into his things. I always thought it was really funny. You can see here like Ready Major Boom or Ready Major Run. You know, the gimmick is still going. It's still strong. I still like it. It's whatever. Um, for the past couple of years, he has been participating in some like mini game jams and stuff like that. And just making games. Something that I have no idea how to do. <laughs> he has more games on here than I realized. I um, I have, like, an email. Uh, I have email alerts and whatnot set up for, like, when he puts out games. So I don't know if some of those emails just didn't go through on some of these or what the story is. But there's, like, more of them here than I realized. But he just put one out the other day. That I wanted to play just to see what was happening. I think most of them are for playing in browser, if not all of them. Planet Royale, I think, is a download. But most of these are played in the browser. Um, so I think I'm going to go through and explore some of these. Some of them are just, like, not finished because there were time limits and you just had to submit what you had. I don't know if he's gone back and finished all of them. I know the one that he put out the other day is not finished i think he said he still has some like updates to do to it but yeah i so i actually kind of looked at it last night for a couple of minutes because i was like oh i do blind looks at games all the time maybe i should go into it knowing about a game so that i can talk about it and of course like a couple minutes into it i don't know if i broke the game or if i just discovered something funny that was left in there but i was up i was instantly upset that like I didn't have it on recording, so I just stopped, and here we are. <laughs> um, I don't think that there's any music in this game either, so if you hear something in this video, I put it in there. I don't really think that there's... There, there isn't even, like, shooting sound in this game. <laughs> Which is fine. Listen, this is already more impressive than anything I could probably ever attempt to do if I even knew how to start, so... I do remember seeing these, you can still see my mouth, that's awkward. I, I remember seeing these last night and being confused as to whether or not the dumpsters were supposed to be on fire, since this is just by itself. But you know, it's cool. Could be fireworks, I don't know. Anyway, I kind of want to try and duplicate what I had done last night, um, just to see you know, if I can make the same thing happen again. Um, these are supposed to be zombies, I think. And you shoot them. The first thing I noticed was that if you shoot them from far enough away, they don't bother you. But if you get too close to them, they will start running for you. So, you know, just however you want to do it, I guess. Like, these ones start running from further away than like the other ones did. Maybe, maybe there's different kinds. Like I said, I only played for a couple minutes. Maybe there's other ones that'll sense you from further away. It's by no means a challenging game. It's just something fun to go through. Um, this, I don't, I don't know why my mouse, I don't know why my cursor changes when I hover over this. I don't think that there's anything I can do with it. Oh, I forgot you were there. But I, I don't know what that's about, honestly. And uh, I figured out that you can, like, push the trash can around. <laughs> but here's what happened to me last night. Let me see if I can do it again. I gotta shoot this guy. Gotta shoot this guy. Let's just get these ones, too, to be on the safe side, right? Um, I was... <laughs> First of all, what's up with this billboard? <laughs> Second of all... I was curious whether or not I could do anything with the vehicle, right? And I had no idea what the controls were for the game. And I walked over and I was just kind of like clicking on it, trying to figure out what was going on. If you actually scroll down in the game, it tells you like what the controls are, okay? 
Now, the debug is important right now. So I had gotten into the car. I had no idea what the controls were. And I realized that, like, I can't drive the car. Car doesn't go anywhere when I'm inside of it. I'm, I'm hitting my directional keys, right? Nothing's happening. Clicking on it, not getting back out. Right clicking, nothing happens. Right clicking on it, nothing happens. I'm just stuck in this thing, right? <laughs> this is when I go to the controls and says, you know, like, right click, interact, try it on a vehicle. Well, here I am, <laughs> to my knowledge. I can't do anything. I'm just, this is where I live now. So I was like, all right, um, I don't understand what debug means in games. It's not a thing that I've ever interacted with before in other games. I don't know how it's supposed to work. So I think like, maybe it'll help me reset my character in the moment, right? So I did a little shift left click. In case you missed that. And then myself last night goes, Wee! <laughs> so, like, you can just. <laughs> you can just keep making more! And this was just absolutely hilarious to me. Um, so, I'm really sorry, Major. <laughs> But I think I broke your game. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I Oh, so I was curious if I could like duplicate the trash can or not. But no, it just puts more cars out. So, you know. This is the thing that happens. <laughs> Now here's the downside to doing this in the game, though. I have no idea how to reset this game. There's no menu that I know of or anything like that, so I think I just have to, like, refresh the browser. I am actually curious to know, like, how far he got in making this game for the jam. Can I? Oh! <gasps> I duplicate it myself. Oh no. What does that do? Can you use it like a decoy? Where are the dead things? Doesn't. <laughs> He's not detectable. <laughs> I have to stop breaking the game. I said that I was going to play through, and my immediate response is to just start breaking things again. How far down does the street go? Oh. <laughs> That's it. Can I? I can walk out of the playfield? I just noticed the walking animation looks a little bit. <laughs> a little bit like he's sneaking around. Did that actually. Am I moonwalk? I'm moonwalking. Um, did it actually keep me walking? I think it did. I've lost the playfield. I have found the playfield again. Okay, so. You're. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to circumvent the map <laughs> and find the end location. <laughs> Can I walk? Oh, no, okay. So, like, when you're up against a wall, you see through the wall a tiny bit. I thought it was just, like, glitching me through the whatever. Ooh, can they run off the map, too? I only need one of you for this experiment. Like I said, he makes a lot of these games for game jams, so there's time limits. Oh, they won't follow me off the map? Sweet. Um, they're clearly. I don't know if I killed him or if he. Despawned. Anyway, he makes a lot of these for game jams. They're he knows that they're not finished, so like they're not gonna be perfect. It's still better than anything that non-developers <laughs> could put together. And he does like, he does work on them. He uh he does work on them after the fact. It's just that. You know, he has to submit them, I'm assuming, in their finished form for the game jams and whatnot. Sometimes he collaborates with people. I'm not sure what 
games we're collaborated on. I should know a lot more about my gamer friend's business <laughs> than I currently do. Especially if I'm putting out videos on it. I think in keeping up with the tradition, I'm gonna put these up. Oh, we have more than one of these billboards. I think I'm gonna keep up with the tradition and I'm gonna put them out on like major Mondays. <laughs> Just keep the gimmick alive. Oh, there's an Illuminati eye. Is that, is that, a, is that supposed to be an Illuminati symbol? Can I duplicate this? No, I'm just still duplicating myself. What happens? Will these spawn sparks too if I put out too many? Apparently not. I've just made myself a small army that's slowly dispersing across the game board. Alright, I need to stop trying to break this game. <laughs> um... Uh oh. Oh, is that the whole game? That might be the whole game. I really thought that was gonna like zone me into a new map. That might be as far as he got. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, Major. <laughs> Let me know if I fucked something up. <laughs> um, Let me know if there. Oh, I walked through that wall. Well, I found a lot of glitches for you to fix if you want to keep making this game. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I definitely did make it lag a little bit with all of my little clones over there. Are they still moving? You think they are? S no, maybe not. No, they're not dispersing anymore. I think they're just in their idle animation. Anyway, so this was 19. I don't... I don't know why the number one has a 50 above it. Like, I'm assuming these are supposed to be item slots, but, like, I hit the number one on my keyboard and nothing happened. So... This was 19! Thanks for watching! Okay, bye!